Now, it's been confirmed by the Football Association today that for the first time since 1966, there'll be no official song to mark England's World Cup campaign in South Africa. It's said, I'm told, the England management want to be, quote, fully focused on the football. Luckily, we hear that there are some unofficial ones rumoured to be released. Which of the previous anthems got you behind the England team? Oh, three lions. Three lions, there you go. Uh, Badil and Skinner. What was it called, that? Three lions. It's quality. Well, the Three Lions was a good song. World in Motion. Which one was that one? New Order, 1990. <laughs> I'll just say World in Motion, 1990. Oh, no, World in Motion. Yep. It's John Byrne sang it. Vindaloo for me, <laughs> and I think Peter Kay should sing the next English anthem. Top of the world. Top of the world. We hope. Why yeah. <laughs> because um, it says it, doesn't it? Everything says it. And we hope we will win it. This time was the best one. Is that one of the World Cup anthems, or was that... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was the best one. Can't remember why, but it's just one that sticks in. I could probably sing you the whole lot, but I'm not going to do. But, uh, yeah, this time. <laughs> Spoil sport. I thought we were going to get so a So what we suffer for not having a, an official World Cup song, sports reporter? Well, <laughs> do you think? I think so, yeah. I've got some great memories of footballers making fools of themselves singing World Cup songs and things like that. And, they, you know, they don't even need to get involved if they don't want to. Manage, the management wants to stay fully focused on the football. I think that's an excuse. It's hardly, it's hardly a distraction, is it, if you record it months in advance, surely? Mm. It seems a bit of a shame, though. Surely it gets the crowd behind your team, doesn't it? Because everybody can sing along. Well, shame. personally, I'm absolutely disgusted, to be honest. I mean, going back to 1970, back home, they'll be thinking about us back. That was a classic. <laughs> 82, this no. time, more than any other time, this time. Of course, the best has got to be no. 1990, a world in motion, and yeah, a John Barber. Right. Right. You've got I mean, to I mean, hold and give and do it at the right time. You, you can be slow or fast, fast but, but you must get to the, the line. line. Now that, Even I know that, that one. Nicky, I've got, an, I everyone. I've got that. an idea, right? World in motion, obviously, new order, originated here in Manchester. Yes. Why don't we do a competition to find the best song and we'll release it? Let's do a Manchester Evening News Channel M Betfred competition High five. to find the best That's song from the greater Manchester region and we'll release our own World Cup song. To be honest, Fabio Capello, I've got a lot of respect for you, but you're out of order. We should have a World <laughs> Cup song. 11 to 2 England are to win the World Cup, yeah, by the so way. Yes, 6 to 1 to go out on penalties. <laughs> well, it's funny you should say oh, that, Mark, because we did have a discussion serious. before and we were saying it would be great to get the Channel M viewers to get in touch. Today at channelm.co.uk, we'll have more details Let's next have a week. Competition. But why don't you yeah, express definitely. your interest or send us your videos, even better? Yeah, absolutely, or your MP3 files, whatever it is. Yeah. So they've got to write the song or just the lyrics or the music. I think they've got to write the song and everything. Thing. And let's, you know, let's, we'll take it in the recording studio. Let's do it as a proper competition. Let's, and let's release. Greater Manchester's World Cup song. I mean, it can't be any worse than the Spice Girls in 98, can that it, on top of the world? Really, can I don't remember that the one. The Embrace 2006, World at Your Feet, wasn't too bad. Uh, Anton Deck 2002, Where on the Ball, of course, it ended up being uh, Let's Get Ready to Stumble, didn't it, with David Seaman being uh, chipped by uh, Ronaldinho. <laughs> and on that note, we'll get in touch we'll anyway.